Can y'all see me? I can't see you. What's up, everybody? I'm sitting up like this, like I'm tall. Let me open the door. I'll let the door go down. There we go. Now I can see y'all. What's going on out there? All right, stop that damn noise. Hey, like always, I'm selling my books. Corner stores in the middle of the block. This was the first book I wrote. That was the first one. And that, when I first came out with it, the cover was black. It was black and white because I didn't know how to add color. It was my first time using the computer. And it was black and white. And then when I learned how to use the computer, I put the letters up above and it was red. And then for some stupid reason, I took the picture. I took my picture off the book because I thought I could sell more books. I thought people weren't buying my books because I'm black. And I think that has a big deal to do with it. But uh, I took my picture off. But then for some, when I, once I wised up, it was too late. And I had fell, I hit rock bottom. And I said, wait a minute, I'm going to put my picture back on the book. And I stood on the corner of 125th Street in front of a corner store. It was in the middle of the block. And I took a selfie and I put that picture back up there. And I had a giant's hat on. In, in fact, I had this. Well, I left my sweater home. I had this on. And this one is my second book I did. No, this is my third one. This one is called Pretty Ugly. It's called the Pretty Ugly of Harlem Situation. And this is the first time I used the name Brad Bathgate because I was using the pseudonym Blue. Blue. But then I started using Brad Bathgate because I used to live. I used to go jogging down Brad on Bathgate Avenue. I was like, man, that name is intriguing. So I said, when I write a book, I said, I'm entitled, you know, I'm using the name Bathgate. And then I just used Brad, Brad, Brad Bathgate. That's where the Brad Bathgate came from. And this is my novel. It's a story that takes place in the summer of 1985. And it's about a girl named Apple and a guy named Big Zach. And they go back and forth down south to Kentucky to take, you know, Man, that's my ex-girlfriend on the cover. And she wasn't modeling for the book. She was modeling the dress. She's a small, petite girl. She was modeling the dress. And that's why I put the dress. And that's why I put that on there. 